Hi everyone, this is Sarah with Safe Haven of Greater Waterbury. Now that we made our glitter jars and we've seen how it's done, I'm going to show you some finished glitter jars. I've got two jars here. You'll see one is a kind of standard 16 ounce mason jar, and this one is actually plastic. And then this is an old juice jar. This is a glass jar. You'll notice one jar has a lot more glitter than the other. This is a good option for adults or teenagers because the more glitter there is, the longer it's going to take for it to fall to the bottom. Teenagers and adults might be able to keep their attention on this activity a little bit longer. And so added glitter, maybe even a little extra glue, is a great option for teens and adults. For younger children, you'll notice that there's not quite as much glitter in this jar. And the proportions of glue and water in this jar are the same that we used in the instructional video before. This jar, it'll take about five minutes for the glue and all the glitter to fall to the bottom, which is a great time period for younger kids. So, let's see them in action. You see the glitter is swirling, and as you're looking at the glitter, you can encourage your children to focus on how fast the bigger flecks of glitter are falling compared to the smaller flecks. If you have sequins or beads in there, you can ask kids to identify different colors, different shapes, whatever you've got going on there. You can turn it into kind of an eye spy game. Or you can simply just have the child sit and watch the glitter as they practice slowly breathing in through their nose and out through their mouth. As you can see, the faster, the bigger pieces of glitter are falling faster. The smaller ones take a little more time. And eventually, it'll all reach the bottom. Now, we'll take a look at the jar for adults and teens. As I mentioned before, there's a lot more glitter in this jar, so it's going to take a lot longer. As you can see, and as I mentioned earlier, there's a little bit more glue in this one, and there's a lot more glitter. So, the glitter is taking a lot longer to fall. And again, with teens and adults, if you have sequins or other items you want to put in here, that's perfectly fine. As you watch the glitter, regulate your breaths, practice those four, seven, eight breathing techniques. And see how you feel when you're done. Some tips for breathing. When you're inhaling through your nose, place one hand on your diaphragm right below your ribs and one hand over your heart. As you inhale, you should be able to feel your stomach pushing out. That will tell you it's a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, pretend that you're blowing a bubble. Doing that will help you regulate how quickly you're letting air out of your body as you exhale. That's all for now. Be sure to check back in soon to see some of our other projects that we've got lined up for you.